Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Guys, today we have a really, really exciting video because we have the return of an old set format, the Drop Pods. Now, these are not the Drop Pods that were more recent, like the Halo 4 and 5 ones, or I guess it was just Halo 5, I don't know. But this is also in like the style of the Cryopod sets. It's been a while since Mega did this, but they brought back the pods, the pod molds. We'll talk about that. I know there are mixed opinions on it. But they brought them back, not with just generic ODSTs. No, Mega has been listening. They have heard people uh, being so disappointed that they can't get Alpha 9 or Noble Team of the characters that they love from the different games, and they have decided to remedy that. The Falcon was their first step, bringing back all of Noble Team. Obviously, people have still been struggling to get that. Hopefully, that will change soon. But now, they are bringing all of Alpha 9 into these little affordable packages uh, in, these, in the drop pod format. So, we have four of these. This is one of four. We don't know where Dare is coming yet. And then, Buck comes in the new uh, Wombat Overwatch, which I do have a video of. I don't know if it'll be out by the time this is out or if it'll come out after. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this. I am this is like this is this is like a dream come true. It really is. So today we're going to be looking at Rookie's Pod. This is ODST Rookie. Pod looks really nice just right off the bat. We got to see the ODST logo on the Wombat set and it returns here. Very very cool. I don't see the Halo Universe branding on here, which is very interesting actually. It's just Mega Halo. The new like packaging format, rookie, <clears throat> and then ODST. I don't see any Halo universe. That's odd to me. Uh, 2022. <clears throat> Interesting that this was made last year. I guess maybe they were hoping to release it last year. I don't know. I don't think that really means much. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get this open. I am very excited to take a look at this. I got this from Emerzy over on Discord. I bought some stuff from him before. I don't remember what video that was in. But uh, I don't actually know where he got it. He might have gotten it from Mexico. Or he might have just gotten it from his area because he's also based in California. And that's usually where all this new stuff comes. But yeah, huge thanks to him for helping me get these. Alrighty, there we go. There's like Forerunner stuff there. <clears throat> and then I guess I have to cut the... There's like this plastic wrap stuff. Oh my gosh, this... Hello? Why can't I open my knife? That is never a good sign when your knife won't open. Okay, let me just carefully... Or wait, can I just rip it? Am I am I making this way harder for myself than it needs to be? Can I literally just like pull it? I think I can. If I can yep. I did not need my knife for that. I've seen people complaining and wishing that these pods were the old buildable pods. And while those looked cool, this format would not work in the slightest because those ones had doors that would open and stuff. So if it was hanging on the shelf, <clears throat> then uh, that would just end up with pieces everywhere. So I think this was a good choice by Mega. All right, pops open just like a little clamshell. Well, not really clamshell because it doesn't hinge open, but plastic feels pretty good. Oh my gosh, it's the same mold from the old ones too. Exactly. It's got the old Mega Bloks logo. That's great. I thought they were going to have like the the printing at least updated. Okay, so we have Rookie in here. He is pre-built. And then we have some instructions. We'll take a look at these real quickly. And then we will jump in. All right, there we go. It's a little confusing at first because that's Romeo right there. That's one of the other pods. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Brickman117 has made it onto official Mega instructions. 
Wow, dang, congratulations, that is awesome. Spiteful117 is on there too, Series 5 Arbiter. Both are really great choices. That is so cool. Dang, okay. There's the rest of the pods and how to put uh, Rookie together. So let me get Rookie out of here and we will take a closer look. All right, here is the main focus of the set, Rookie himself. And I got to say, I think this is probably the best Rookie we've ever had. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison with other Rookies because I've actually just recently gotten the original Wombat Rookie and I have Halo Heroes Series 10 Rookie for comparison. But dang, this guy's looking kind of nice. Like this is this is what I would imagine a, a new Halo Heroes Rookie to look like. So... We've got some nice print on the chest. We have like the, the chest plate is kind of a darker gray print. We have the UNSC logo, obviously no name because rookie for some reason just didn't have his name on there. Um, UNSC down here. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, I'm pretty sure that rookie does, he does have a name. I think I saw somewhere his name is Jonathan, I think, but I'm not, I don't know how correct that is. So don't quote me on that. Um, then we got some gray straps going along the side. It is a little odd to me that they did both white and gray. At first, I thought that this was just poorly printed white. But the more I look at it, the more I think that this is actually just supposed to be the straps and not the white markings. So that's kind of interesting. The black print is a little thick on here, and it's not the most sharp. You can kind of see some uh, line, like messiness on the lines on the edge. But it's not real bad. I think it's it's pretty acceptable. Um, it's not quite maybe as sharp as some of the prints on like the Hive Exterminators. But it's still a pretty darn good print. We do have the blood type on here, which is fantastic that Mega is making this a regular thing now. O minus. Very cool. Got some white markings on the shoulders. Both sides. The head is done pretty well. Looks like Mega's gotten their ODST visor. Um printing process down pretty darn good it looks pretty nice the black is a little fuzzy on some of the edges but not real bad i think it's within the acceptable range and then we have the white stripe on the head which i think it's a little off center and a little rough on the one side but again well within the acceptable range there um, and then we have the new ODSD backpack, which is fantastic. Rookie is more accurate now because of that. It is um, interesting that they didn't decide to do any of the camo. I realize that probably would have been more expensive, but the new Hornet ODST has the camo lower arms and the camo thigh armor. So you could, if you wanted to kind of get that look, you could put that on these new Alpha 9 figures. It would bring back the two bright gray. I think Mega just decided that since the camo in-game is so subtle and you can barely see it, it was better just to go with a different shade of uh, a different shade of the plastic here. This is like a matte gray, and this is more like a shiny, uh, more actual gray gray. So I think I think that was an acceptable choice. Uh, Rookie's hands obviously have the print. They're kind of a pale skin, which is interesting. I think bucks are a little bit darker than that. And then we have a silenced SMG, looking very, very nice. The best that these SMGs have ever looked, I would say. Very, very cool. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm really happy to get a new rookie. And this guy is generic enough, obviously, because, you know, rookie is always generic, that you could just buy a bunch of these and give yourself a squad of unnamed, uh, nondescript ODSTs. Pretty darn fantastic. And then here is the pod itself. Obviously, the draw of this set is going to be Rookie. The, the whole point of these sets is the figures. But I am actually really impressed with this. You know, it's not the super detailed and um, articulated older ones with the opening door and all that. But it's pretty nice. Like, this is going to be great for photos. Like, I can drop this in the background of photos. I think it's going to be it's going to be great. I the opening, you know, obviously I can't open the door. That will be a bit of a pain for some shots, but I don't know. This looks pretty useful to me. I don't know about you guys, but I I'm pretty happy that they they brought this back. And the printing is very nice. We got print for all of the windows, kind of a shiny blue. We have some white 
marking lines and some white markings up there to match rookies detailing and then the mold itself is pretty nicely detailed nice shaping got some detail around the back got a vent down here i wonder does this stick onto studs i don't have anything big enough nearby for me to test that but yeah i mean obviously the clip on the side is a little ugly it's not the perfect drop pod but it is also a storage container so you can pop this out and stick the rookie in there take him off his stand transport him around like that i think that's pretty nice and then it also scales decently well like it doesn't look at a scale again great for photos and i wanted to do a quick comparison with one of the last drop pods this is one of like the halo 5 ones this is operation throne uh, i will be doing a review on this soon or i will have already done it i don't know when exactly all the videos are coming out in, in what order but yeah obviously this is more detailed because this is a buildable thing but i'd say that for a little plastic um figure container this pod looks pretty nice again it's not the main draw of the set the main draw of the set is the figure inside but this is nice this is very nice well there you have it that is the first of the new drop pods with odst rookie and i gotta say i love this move by mega this is absolutely exactly what we've been asking for since alpha 9 got really expensive like this is perfect I know Mega's been having trouble with communication lately. They've been having trouble with getting stock on the shelves. But I think that anybody who, you know, complains about the content of the sets and saying that Mega doesn't care about the fans, they just care about money with the sets they're releasing, I don't think that's true in the slightest. And I'm going to keep saying this because this is literally exactly what we've been asking for for years. Years. It used to cost couple hundred dollars potentially to get all of alpha 9 if you wanted the best versions halo hero series one buck only buck to exist before the wombat set absolutely just over the top expensive anywhere from 50 to 90 or more dollars mickey from the nmpd pelican super expensive dutch has been like 50 on up it's been crazy and so this is mega's way of listening to us and i am all for it this is fantastic. I know not everybody's happy about the um, like two-piece simple pods, but again, this is a format that basically relies on this as the box because, again, in the packaging, if you had the old pods just hanging onto it, it would have been very, very flimsy. We would have found pieces all over the place. And this makes it a heck of a lot easier to... A heck of a lot easier. Heck of a lot harder to steal stuff, not easier. Because that little plastic thing, like you can't steal the figure out of this pod without completely ripping the packaging off. So that's another plus. They could have done, you know, the older format where it was like the pod in the box, but then that's more money for packaging, which drives the price up. And the price of this is, I believe retail for this is $10. That does feel a little steep, but if you think about it, it's five bucks for the pod, five bucks for the figure. And I know most of you guys are going to be going, oh, but I just, I just want the figure. Like, I want to save the five bucks for the pod. I mean, again, I think the format works pretty well. And I think Mega made the right choice with this. If they had done the other pods, it probably would have been like a 15 or $20 set. Just with the way prices are now. So all in all, A+. Plus. I would say quality seems pretty decent as well. The prints are all pretty nice. I don't see any major issues with like parts not fitting. Um, sometimes the ODSTs have problems with their knees wanting to pop off. Uh, this guy looks fine. I, he looks all good. So yeah, very happy. Really, really excited to look at the other ones. Dang, I, I really hope they continue with this to, you know, other just generic ODSTs again, but Alpha 9 was definitely the perfect start to this wave. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.